Yeah, you guys, that last channel message, um, heartbreaking moment for your soulmate, I really feel like that person got their heart broken by the person who they were with or something like that, you guys. that it, That's what seems like it's coming out. Somebody who they have a family with, like they got really, really heartbroken from that situation. And Pisces, this is your chance to redeem yourself. This is just your, your chance to stand in a very um, positive way, to be positive, to be that positive light that you always have been um, and without letting anything else confuse or, or get in the middle of confusing the two, okay? <clears throat> this is beautiful. This is a new beginning for you. Wow. It's very empowering. It, it just feels very empowering because it feels like it's going to be a new beginning for something here for you. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, let's see here. What is the channel message, Spirit? Okay, so let's. What, what's the channel message, Spirit? Here, I'm gonna do one more channel message for you guys before I go ahead and enjoy my weekend. I did open, I hate to say this out loud to everyone, I did open personal readings back up, um, but only for a select few people, you guys, because um, these are the people who already messaged me. Um, so yesterday I was sick and I was not feeling good, and I did get to get through at least one, two, three, four, five, about five personal readings. So, um and I still have Stephanie and Colleen um, reading to do. And those are my free readings, okay? So anytime I can give back, I will give back to you guys. Anytime that I have time to do a free personal reading, I will definitely like open that up and you know message you guys in the comments and let you know that I would like to do a personal free reading for you guys. Um, I will try to give back in any way that I possibly can. I'm grateful for you guys and I'm thankful for you guys. Um, for being a part of my channel, you guys. And I'm happy that um, I'm able to deliver these messages, okay? So, let's get into this reading. <clears throat> What's the channel message, Spirit? What's the channel message? What is it? What is it that you want me to tell, Pisces? What's this channel message? Is there a song you would like to give to me? <clears throat> Is there a song that you would like to give to me, Spirit? <laughs> no, Spirit, not that one. <laughs> uh, give me something else. Please, not that one. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I have to say this. Okay. <clears throat> R E S P E C T. <laughs> oh, a little respect. Y'all, literally, this is what's coming out. Respect. Respect, Pisces. R E S P E C T. Hmm. This is about respect. Let's see what's going on here. Somebody respect. Okay, this is something about respect. Respect. R E S P E C T. Respect. I forgot who's saying who? Patty Labelle. Respect. Okay. What's the message here, Spirit? Oh, Queen of Wands energy. Mm. This is about respect here. I'm hearing someone saying respect me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I don't know the rest. <laughs> okay, so the Queen of Wands coming out very strongly here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here, okay? Someone's coming here very passionately towards the situation here. Tell me more. Ooh, Two of Pentacles, okay. <clears throat> Someone's trying to figure out how to approach you, Pisces. Someone is trying to figure out a way how to approach you. Somebody's wanting to approach you. I feel like there's somebody here who has a lot of respect for you. 
They're, cause this, they're coming up as a queen of wands upright. Somebody here has respect for you some way. They respect something here. There could be a fire sign coming towards you, Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Mm. <laughs> I don't know that song, but um, Patti LaBelle, you guys, respect. this is something about respect. Somebody's trying to come towards you, um, but they are, I do feel like this person is trying to like check themselves before they riggedy wreck themselves. Like someone's trying to come towards you, step towards you here. Feels like a fire sign. Sorry, you guys. So yeah, someone's going back and forth, Pisces. I feel like there's somebody here who's going back and forth with you. Um, so yeah, someone's going back and forth with you, back and forth with you. Oh my goodness, this is about respect. Someone is saying this is about respect. Okay, this could be like a feminine energy here. It's coming up with this Queen of Wands. Someone feels like this is all about respect here. Tell me more. Yeah, it's another person. It's another quarant. This is a woman. <clears throat> Strong Libra energy, strong Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. Somebody is wanting you to respect them. Look at this Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This is about respect. Someone is saying that, um, yeah, somebody's like, yeah, they feel like someone feels like, you know, you're disrespecting or you, someone is disrespecting them. Uh, this is like, know your place. Someone's going back and forth with you. They may be juggling back and forth what they want to say. Um, to you, but <clears throat> what in the hell is going on? Tell me more. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This could be about a family situation with the devil here. It could be about their family, um, a family that they have with someone else. Someone may feel like you have nothing to do with this or you should know your place in some way is what I'm hearing. Like, wow. So someone is on an emotional roller coaster here with you. Um, they're not, they're trying to control, they're trying to control something, control a situation here, um, in regards to like their happiness or their family. Um, somebody feels like someone's overstepping, stepping their boundaries. Now Pisces, I'm not sure who this person is, but I'm just, I'm just a messenger. Someone feels like someone's overstepping their boundaries here. They may be overstepping their boundaries, but, um, uh, when it comes to you, seven of pentacles, yeah. Somebody's very much invested in this situation. This is like somebody's putting their two cents in, letting you know, letting you know what the business is, letting you know what time it is. Six of Wands. See, so yeah. This person is really kind of like putting some type of. Mm, they're wanting some type of victory here. They're wanting something here to be victorious here. Um, they feel like you may be getting in the way of something here that they're trying to have. They feel like, I'm here, getting in the way of what I'm feeling. You getting in my way, getting in the way of what I'm feeling. That's by Jill Scott, you guys. <laughs> yeah, nine of cups. You're getting in the fucking way, Pisces. They feel like they need. They, they feel like you're at, you're getting in the way of something here. Um, yeah, they feel like you're getting in the way. Um, this this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra energy here. Um, Taurus energy. Whoever this person is, I feel like um, <clears throat> it looks like somebody who wants you out of the picture. They want you out of the picture. Tell me more. They want you out of the picture is what I just heard. Yeah, strength. It could be a Leo energy, strong. Leo energy, Aries, Libra, fire sign popping out here. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody wants you out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. I, they want you out of the motherfucking way. Get out of my way. Get out of the way here. They want you out of the picture. Do you hear me? Out of the picture. I feel like they're really trying their best here to like, uh, they're trying their best to not say something, to stay um, humble in this situation or to kind of like, you know, control their emotions and their feelings, their actions or something. They're really trying their best to like hold back something that they want to say. They want to say something to you. Pisces is in regards to their family, their happiness, their abundance. Yeah, two of wands. They're going to be like, they're making some type of move towards you, but it's kind of like delayed with this Wheel of Fortune. So, 
Pisces, I don't feel like they're 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 not liking you too much. They're not liking you too much. They're not saying this to your face. They may be communicating to someone else at this point, but this is their emotions and feelings about you. But they're not saying this directly to your face is what it feels like. Like this is somebody here who they have all these emotions and feelings about you, but they're not saying it to your face. They're holding that. Uh, five of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, they want to say something. Nine of Swords. Somebody wants to say something to you. Um, somebody may be telling them not to. Sorry, you guys. That's my son. Um, this person is feeling some type of way. They're feeling some type of way, feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling some type of way about their emotional, their happiness. Um, and again, I feel like they feel like you may be getting in the way of something here that they want. Yeah, you are. Queen of Cups in reverse. <laughs> you coming up right here, Pisces. Pisces, what are you doing? Ooh, Pisces, you're you're like, you're like, you you want some of this? Pisces five of wands with the page of cups. Pisces, you're not being very nice. You're not being very nice, Pisces. Um, you're like it's like it's like a, a fire sign versus like a water sign type energy here. Um, you're like I won't be moved. I won't be pushed. You're not gonna force me out of the situation out of this picture. Ew. Okay, both of you guys are wanting victory in some way here. Tell me more. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Three of swords in reverse. Ooh, Pisces. Um, <clears throat> Pisces, I feel like you're telling somebody about themselves. And you're not holding back and you're, 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 you're being very like, I'm gonna be honest, like you're not holding back. You're letting somebody know something about themselves and you're speaking. I'm not saying that what you're doing isn't right. I'm not saying that what you're saying isn't fair, but it's like whatever you're saying and however you're speaking it, it's like, this can like really hurt somebody's feelings. So you're really hurting somebody's feeling here. Like you're letting them know you're the one who cheated on him. You're the one who hurt him or you're the one who did this or it's like you're letting somebody know something about themselves, the ugly truth about themselves, nine of cups, but it's coming, it's making you look a certain type of way. So Pisces, be very mindful of what you're choosing to express or say because it's making this person, this person could be a Leo, it's making this person look like the good person here, when really they're probably not. But it's, you're letting your emotions, again, Queen of Cups, you're letting your emotions get the best of you here, and you could be saying something here or saying something out loud about a situation to this person, like as if you may be trying to hurt them, but you're not going to you might hurt them, but you're going to hurt a situation here that you have with someone too, a friendship, a love, a connection, a partnership. You're going to, you're ultimately going to hurt, you know, the other person, um, by trying to hurt this person who's coming towards you. Um, tell me more. Yeah. The devil is in reverse. I feel like though I'm hearing that you tried your best. You you really really tried to. You tried your best not to say anything, or you tried your best to just like you know, uh, stay in your corner. <laughs> but it's like you stay in your corner and I stay in my corner. But someone was not doing that. Someone was blatantly um, doing something here that was very disrespectful or trying to control the situation or control the other person. So I feel like you may have said something or spoke up. Um, and you may have really said something to hurt someone else's feelings. And it's like you told the ugly, blunt, ugly, I'm hearing the ugly truth of the situation. Uh, there's a heartbreak or disappointment here. Maybe you, you shed some light on what someone has did to someone else. And then this Knight of Cups here, I feel like Pisces, what you're doing is you're pushing. I'm going to be honest. It looks like you're pushing this person, um, out of your corner. It's like you're pushing someone else. 
you're pushing somebody away um, in regard. Like when you did this, you push somebody away. It's weird. It's like if I say this and if I bring up the truth, it's going to hurt this person. It's going to make this person hurt. It's going to make them look stupid. It's going to make them feel bad. But in reality, what you did was you pushed the other person away. You pushed the person who you were trying to bring closer to you. You pushed that person away from you. Tell me more. I, I know. That's crazy. I'm seeing it just like that. Tell me more. You pushed them away. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Because you, 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 it's like you almost like you kind of embarrassed them too. I feel like you embarrassed them too. Like, I feel like there was an attempt here to hurt someone else. Maybe this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Leo, emphasis on Leo, emphasis on Libra. Aries, Taurus. You, you probably attempted to hurt someone else. Um, but what you did was you ultimately hurt yourself and you hurt the other person or, and it's like, you know, you were letting your emotions get the best of you. Mm, Pisces, shit. And then you push somebody away from you in the process of you retaliating or, um, you made a head over heart decision here to express yourself in a very like emotional way. You let your emotions get the best of you and you, you sprouted off and you said something here. Um, it maybe came from a place, it came from a place of, I'm not going to lie. There's like a lot of like, um, <clears throat> resentful and, you know, like emotional pain and hurt here. But I feel like ultimately you push somebody back towards like, you push somebody back towards this situation. Like, it's like bringing up something here and making this person feel, ugh, bringing up a painful experience or, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you just, it's like you dug up something here and, um, ultimately pushes this person away from you. And you know what? The Leo energy, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, whoever this woman, this other woman, because there's two women here. There's a fire sign and a water sign woman or a Libra, Taurus, and, and woman, and then a water, uh, water sign, which is you. Ultimately, this person kind of like, they, they knew what they were doing. The nine of cups and the strength part was they got you to do something here that ultimately they knew what they were doing. They, they were trying to make you say something or make you do something here that was going to ruin the situation here for you. So ultimately, yes, you may have embarrassed them or embarrassed uh, a part of their situation, but ultimately they got what they wanted too with the nine of cups. They got exactly what they wanted. They got in between the situation here and they ultimately made you push somebody away. They made you push someone who you cared about away. Hmm. That's the weirdest shit ever. What advice would I give to Pisces in regards to this? What advice would I give to Pisces in regards to this? Okay. I'm telling you, some messages are long and some messages are so easy. What? So page of pentacles in reverse with, ooh. Yeah, with the seven of swords. That tit for tat shit? Mm-mm. Some of our energy is justice with the hermit. This is like you being wise enough, making wise decisions here. Um, justice here, it's like um, staying balanced. I feel like with this page of pentacles and this seven of swords, this is like self-sabotage, I'm going to be honest. It's like you're trying, like the page of pentacles in reverse is like nitpicking and it's like um, that sabotage type of energy. So uh, for some of you guys, this might have something to do with legal work situations, um, some type of integrity here. But I feel like th this is you being, you need to have integrity for yourself with this um, hermit here. It's just kind of like one of those things where you just don't need to follow it up. You know what the truth is and that's all that matters. As long as you know what the truth is, that's all that matters. Like nobody else needs to know. Um, n nobody else needs to know this. And I feel like that page of pentacles with the seven of swords is like, it feels like a gossipy energy here or a need to, it's a petty energy. It's page of pentacles in reverse. It's a negative energy. It's a negative message. It's self-sabotaging here, you. So it's, it's self-sabotaging you. Hey Pisces, so I'm giving you a heads up for some of you guys. This is past, present, future energy, but this is like a lot of foolishry here. This is like a lack of, um, I don't know, like it feels like a temperament, like you being very like, I don't know. It's like you're trying to get back at someone. It's like tit for tat trying to hurt someone, um, but in reality, it's self-sabotage. You're going to hurt yourself. It's going to make you look a certain way here. 
you may have done some type of damage in some way um, to this person or to a situation, but ultimately you're going to push something away here that you want. It's, something, it's like, yeah, you're going to ultimately push someone away. It's so weird because you're going to have somebody else looking like the good person. You're going to have the other person looking like the good person, and you're going to be looking like the bad person, the bitter person. Definitely not the bigger person. You're letting this other person look like the bigger person. And it's crazy because the, 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 the song that came out was Respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. So somebody here is like, a little respect. Oh, a little respect. <laughs> so somebody wants respect here in this situation. And somebody feel like someone else is getting in the way of something here that they're feeling and they're trying to get. You guys got to look at that. It's Jill Scott getting in the way of what I'm feeling. It shows that how like two women are kind of like you're getting in the way of me in this situation with this man. So, yeah, I can just channel these messages all day. Like I know how to channel you guys. That's one thing I can do. Give me the message that I need to get to Pisces. Yeah, past life relationship here. Um, you have known each other before. Tell me another. Uh, yeah, release your ex and codependency here. Okay, so yeah. This person is still dealing with somebody from their past or they're dealing with somebody that they had a past relationship here with. Um, and yeah, I feel like they are tr they are getting to a place where they may be releasing themselves from that person. But you, you got, I'm hearing that you're not helping the situation. Pisces, I'm hearing you're not helping the situation. I do feel like this person, this is somebody from their past or this is someone that they know before you and this person could be their past relationship and they are releasing themselves from that person but ugh, Pisces, 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 Pisces. Mm-hmm, very soon. Clearly decide what is it that you want so that it comes to you now. So they are in the process here of something of like releasing themselves from this person. They're, somebody's making a decision here um, that they need to release themselves from a situation here. But don't help by pushing the person back into their arms. Past relationship very soon. Give me one. Uh, yeah, let your friends let your friends help you. This is you trying to be a friend, but or it's like you're trying to be supportive in some way. But like somebody, it's it's like you you can't cross some some type of boundaries here. Um, and it may be something here that they're feeling like. I do feel like you're the friend or you're the person here who's being supportive being sorry you guys me warming up my food you're being a friend you're being the person who's supporting them yeah religious factors but the fact of the matter is so i feel like the religious factors here is this person maybe it's like this person in the fire sign energy or the the other person I feel like there's something here where they both share together. Um, this could have to do with family values, traditional values, upbringing, cultural beliefs. But there's something here that they're, there's something here that needs to be worked out in regards to um, upbringing, cultural, like something here in regards to family. So they have some type of, there could be like a difference in what you believe and what they believe, um, like in regards to family, culture, life, lifestyle. And so there might be some type of, yeah, the situation for some of you guys is like it involves marriage. So it could just be something here where two people be beliefs are very different here. And it could have a lot to do with how somebody wants their child to be raised or what they don't want around their child or what they do want around, around their kids. I don't know, you guys, it could be all kinds of stuff here. You know what your situation is personally, but I do see that this is something here that they are going to have to work out too and then you're you're possibly trying to like be supportive but they may feel like you're getting in the way of this and this person obviously is going to have to um, make a decision here very soon so they're clearly needing to decide what they want if they want to follow something up here or if they want to like listen to maybe you or what your beliefs or what you feel about the situation it just really comes down to um decisions beliefs um what someone wants around their children, what they don't want. It's just, it's just really, really like, it feels really like petty, but I will say that I don't see that there's anyone married in this situation. I just feel like there's something about difference in how upbringing cultural beliefs and things about what they don't want around their kid, what they do want around their kid, what they, what they want someone to be, um, 
exposed to and what they don't want someone to be exposed to, but ultimately it's going to do to be up to um, this person. And I feel like you may be pushing this person away, getting this person to side more with this person because of how you react, okay? 